Good morning, wonderful people, great dear friends. Wherever you are on the face of this very planet, this very early morning in the land of Biafra, afternoon or night, depending on where you are, I welcome each and every one of you to this very live and interactive session on this hallowed and noble platform of Radio Biafra, disseminating the gospel of enlightenment, of liberation, the gospel of hope and redemption to the entirety of humanity. Therefore, as I welcome you, allow me to encourage you to welcome other people as well. I say to all of you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you. Because unlike any other, these very broadcast, simulcast on a multitude of platforms is going out across the entire 24 time zones of this very world. Because wherever there is civilization and human activity, you will find Biafrans there. This morning will not be an exception to that for which we are known for, which is to preach the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Here this very morning, we shall take your calls after a very brief introduction by way of basically encapsulating some of the distressing and disturbing headlines, making the rounds in the Zoological Republic, and a few important announcements that I am obliged to make regarding our seat at home and how we are going to honor our heroes this very year. Once again, if you are privileged, bring your pen and your paper along with you. We are live and we are direct, and of course, heaven, as always, shall bear us witness. My name is Mazen Namdekano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, all over the world. I am the director of Radio Biafra and Biafra Television, and by the very special grace of the Most High Elohim, Chukukika Biama Prumi Henine, a servant of the wonderful people of Biafra. We have come to complete the work that the class of 67 started. We have come to fulfill that which has been promised to this very generation. We have come that even the blind may see and even those who are deaf may hear. We have come that those who were previously miseducated may be able to gain the enlightenment of reasonable tutorial on the issues affecting their lives. The whole world is listening. And we shall proceed, of course, very, very gingerly to present to you what we have in store for you this very morning, afternoon or night, depending on where you are. But first of all, we must pray. And before we do so, I must remind each and every one of you that we are on IPOB Community Radio, the app. Everybody must download it. It is a low data usage app. If you download it, it doesn't cost you very much to listen to this very broadcast via your internet enabled device we are also on radio biafra app we are on tuning we are on a whole host of platforms believe you me including garden radio as well we are on fm in some parts of biafra and i do understand that most of our fm um, relay stations are down and we are doing all we can to try and resuscitate and revive them we are on satellite for those of you with strong decoder in the whole of West Africa, South, South, um, Southern part of Africa, and also the Middle East, you should be able to get us if you have a satellite. I have encouraged most people to try and switch over to satellite where they can, and those of you who are in the diaspora, endeavor to provide satellite link for your people back home in the towns and villages in Biafra land that they too may be able to listen, participate, and partake in what we are doing on this very glorious and indomitable platform called Radio Biafra. We are also, of course, on many other social media platforms. Most of you are listening via my Instagram page. I don't know if to call it page or handle. I don't know 
we are on instagram instagram rather if you go to martin namdekan underscore official on instagram we are there you should be able to follow us this morning we are also on twitter i've asked you many times to please try and get a twitter account if you have a twitter account you should be able to go there to also listen or should i say watch us live you will not be able to see my image but of course you can follow what we are doing you can make comments and of course if your comment catches my attention i will be able to read it out or i will be able to use it to guide our presentation this very morning most of you may be able you will try to call but if you are not able to get through please go to instagram we are also on facebook apparently uh, most of you don't believe it is my facebook page i understand that but we are on facebook we are streaming there this very morning it's not my page because facebook won't let us it is just it's a it's not a fan page it's a private page if you go there you should also be able to listen to us on instagram on twitter on facebook on our app IPOB Community Radio on Radio Biafra app. You should be able to follow us this very morning. I know for some of you it is very early in the morning, but of course it is the right thing for us to do because it's very, very interactive. Very shortly, I'll give you the numbers to call, of course, on WhatsApp and also on Instagram. Some people are calling already, and as I've told them, this is not the time to call. When the lines are opened, I will let you know, and then, and only then will you be able to call. Once again, I welcome each and every one of you. And let us pray. Is anyone in a chinak and nanke pruming hen in a chinak and nanke going on in a few when I be sell and you know banani and a chip on your banani abo more and came with more on your jay in the madden and over the racker on your banani and a baby in the big gap and came out of the end. She make no yanny where the Biafra way in your fair knack on your banani a colonial can be a fraga, be a little and I went out of the only suit to run and get bread and goes in a lance of Biafra. A banyan one in the sea where my little. Do not do your honor and yagging a bread, a man magin on me co in a bendigan. When I do your sable bed and goes of blood, a canyon one in a banyan. No who is who can and keba. And where we end home again in a way near Fagan, I call blood and dink, you know, long gabbard in the ditch, and then last night, a man canyon one in a ga. Nay, and then open the flannel with the Budawa, a putawa. No, but don't sorry. Actually, we're in here in a point in a care. A land song keep with any bone out. Where would I wear God's own money? Or for a land so I would be after kind of taking the remiss to an accident and getting so because of what you will take and dig. Nay, you don't can't keep running out and all the way. Nanke bread and goes in my room, baby. Oh, no, bonanne, ya, nache. I am not going to Chani home within a bond the IPOB no one in on your mum. Give a yan yes in what is it, Chamamia? It didn't know to a ganilu. Make on a tan one and a one. A honan yan canadin is no longer like a bread and goes. Also, believe what is the way the Okunebani no one yet in somebody may be given because of the kind of drone. Give away the Oku way that Johnny Banyan or Kamari way better. Give away what I ran in me here. Lee knew it's very way over a canyon one year. And you buy no bar who for Bochaga, Chania, Gara, Han Yonzo, Manamaraco, who could so get out of my room, baby. Or them I will not jag in my way, nay, to a nasty Nimon or Donny Naga and Jah and Sawyer Manny gave Fagan no so preach. Lee and call my man, he gave the hands of a cordial man, you never to do. No book of Chinakan, open another one of us with an inn. And you were not against the bedding was a key way down the cookies, some of me. Is it chair? I come. Now, what are you more? Is it in the uncanny one in a look? How way, what a boom, no pure junk in the front and even to Hano. Neither for him had he believed, had he used to have money. That he will go see who's on ticket to Hani Men. The way he will join you one in his own case, young man. Cock up with the master of Piafra, I got your house and mama do you, man. He said, and then Stanley be my only big began. I go, he say, he say, he say. Of course, we live where the language of heaven. That's what we are speaking. Most people do not understand it, but it is true that this is the very oldest language on the face of this very earth. This very morning, I'm going to proceed. Before we open the lines, please, I am going to make a few announcements regarding our sit at home that is coming up on the 31st. Lockdown, not even sit at home. Lockdown. I have issued the orders to the men on the ground 
Not even a cockroach is allowed to cross from one cupboard to the other. Not even cockroach or teacher cannot move from one cupboard to the other. There will be no movement, absolute and total paralysis of activities in the East, in the land of Biafra. Everywhere will be on absolute and total lockdown as we salute those that fell and served us between 1967 to 1970. If you know any veteran around you between now and Monday, please ensure that you visit them. I don't want anybody to lie to say that they served in the very glorious army of Biafra when they didn't do so. We we'll remember our veterans, those of them who are still alive. We will celebrate the memory of those that fell in the various battlefields. You must also understand that it was the Third World War. We lost over 5 million people during this very period, of which the world have decided not to talk about for very obvious reasons, because we are dear friends and because we are the chosen children of God. And also, we fought the whole world. It was the Third World War. Britain was on the side of the Fulani Janjaweed, go one led government they also managed to convince russia to join them it was the only time in the history of the world since the end of the second world war in 1945 that a free nation like britain decided to join a communist repressive regime as obtained then in the former soviet union in order to oppress a very small country in africa because it was at the height of the Cold War, do not forget. But Britain jettisoned and abandoned everything to do with their so-called ideological purity during that very time in order to coerce Russia to support Goa in order to defeat Biafra, or should I say to prevail over Biafra. They hired Egyptian pilots. OAU was as um, weak and as stupid as ever the same way they are this very day of course with the exception of julius nyerere and to an extent the 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 should i say the mediation role played by emperor Haile selassie and um, of course a few other gabon for instance that recognized biafra and also cote d'ivoire under president Hufford burner the rest of them decided to gang up with the Janjaweed in order to deny us access to weapons, access to food, access to medical care. Some people even said that starvation was a legitimate instrument of war, which of course is a war crime. But all these things happened. There was no international investigation. Nothing was done about it. And today we are here trying to finish what these, those brave men started very many years ago. I want to also remind all of you that we fought this very third world war and we held out for three years. The second world war lasted for about five years from 1939 to, to mid 1945, but only tiny Biafra was able to sustain the might of three superpowers to stay afloat for three years. Mind you, we were denied access to food, to medical care. We were denied access to weapons. That was when they created the core states. The Cross River State was created. The River State was also created. And isn't it very, very fortuitous that the same man they brought in to preside over River State that was created to spite Biafra River State that Amechi is jumping up and down. I wouldn't say Amechi, please. I'm so sorry. That the little Hitler, Mike is jumping up and down today, was created to spite, to divide our people at the height of the war by Gowan. No other person than Gowan, and that is why his land today has been ravaged and taken over by bandits. I must also make it abundantly clear to all of you, especially those of you who are listening, that we are not going to stop until we complete this very work that our fathers, so to speak, started before we came. It is very, very critical that you understand that come 31st, there will be total lockdown in Biafra land. Absolute Cast iron total lockdown. Every living organism, if we find you outside, you're a gunner. As I will always say, Sinan Gwadiri, Tanya Nanya, ask the zoo police and the zoo army, they will tell you what they're going through. There will be no living organism, no vehicle on the road. 
Don't come out and be talking rubbish that day. Oh, had I known this thing they are doing. This We must honor those because without the class of 1967 to 1970, you will not be alive today. Most of, not most, all of us will be alive today. They fought very, very gallantly. They defended our land and we must honor them. And honor them we shall. Do not make any mistakes about it. You know, they have brought their suicide bombers into our land. The first of them being one idiot called um, Idi Amin. And fittingly so, of course. The idiot that blew up himself in a Boeing state going to a market to go and kill people. That Dave Umahi quickly swept under the carpet. But we know the truth and that truth we shall preach on this platform. There will be no movement on the 31st. On the Monday, our activities will start on the 30th. We shall observe, we shall pray. And on the night of the 30th, of the 30th we're going to have a candlelight vigil everywhere. Candlelight vigil everywhere. Most churches that are going to be opened on Sunday, this coming Sunday, please, you are going to pray for the uh, safe repose of the soul of those that died during the war. We must un also remember those of them, including Ikonso, that have died ever since trying to defend our land from the ravages and excesses of Fulani Janjawidism. We must also remember men of Eastern Security Network who are today protecting our land against the threat of invasion from Fulani Janjaweed government of the Zoological Republic. Of course, they are front men. They tried to use Miet Yala. They failed completely and woefully. We defeated them. Now they are trying to use they are foot soldiers, of course, the terrorists that they recruited into the army and into the police. What we want Dave Omahi to understand is very, very simple. You are going to lose eventually. Nobody fights their people and wins. It's impossible. Go through history, you will see it. Dave Omahi, you're a loser. That presidency you're gunning for, you can see how it has just evaporated before your eyes. You will be consigned to the dustbin of history, to the dustbin of irrelevance. You are a very foolish and stupid man, and we are going to prove it to you. All that your nonsense with for an Islamic bank is not going to work in our land. Ebony is the land of Biafra, and we have fought very, very gallantly to defend it. And there is absolutely nothing yourself or any other individual, for that matter, can do about it. Because here, everything we tell you comes to pass. Everything I tell you on this noble platform comes to pass. And I want to remind that very idiot, there is a very foolish man, the vice chancellor, they say, of Nam Azikiwe University. We've been told that this very man uh, have scheduled an exams on the 31st, the day that we announced our seat at home. Or should I say total lockdown of Biafra land? It is a total lockdown, not even sit at home, total lockdown. Anything outside that day is a goner. The vice chancellor of Nam Azikiwe University wants to test his popularity and we shall make him very famous. Since he wants to be very famous, he wants to attract perhaps some one or two loans or grants from Fulani Janjaweed. The same way that Omahi did by being against his people so he can collect loans from Islamic Bank to build one or two flyovers and deceive the idiots that wish to be deceived, but not us. Well, I want to make it very clear to this very monkey this very idiot of uh, uh, the VC of Nam Daziki Way University, his name is Charles Okechuku Esimone, whatever the idiot. I don't care to know where he comes from. Tell this idiot, tell this fool, whoever knows this, this vagabond, go and tell him. If he wants, I, I'm not going to say much, go and put exams on, on Monday, you see what will happen to you. And those people who will be foolish enough to wish to participate. Try it and you will see what will happen to you. Then you will understand how serious we are. You will understand how serious we are. That we are not joking. That we are very, very serious. And there is nothing anybody can do to stop the 31st of May this year from being observed as the main day. We sit at home, or should I say, we lock down everywhere. An act of respect to those that fell that we may live, they died, that we may live, and we must honor them every blessed year in perpetuity, forever and ever. If our seat at home, if our 30th of May falls on a Shabbat, 
or falls on a Sunday, we choose a date to sit at home, which is normally the next working day, that the world may see the impact of what we are doing. We are not trying to derive the target of men. No, it stays that way, very holy, very sacred, sacrosanct, so to speak. Uh, but the real deal will take place on the 31st, when the entirety of Biafra land will be under lock and key, complete and total lockdown, complete and absolute lockdown. The name of this idiot is Charles Okechukwe Simone. If you know him, tell him that this is what Nam Dekano said this morning. That that will go go. I don't know. Maybe he drinks Hennessy. I don't know. Maybe he smokes goof. You know, weed. Tell him that by Monday, that weed would have cleared from his eyes. If he feels it's very tough, he wants to maybe uh, go and bring the new, uh, is it Yahaya, the new chief of army staff to come and protect him. Then he will better, I mean, let me advise him that yeah, he had better run back to the north. And in Sharia North, because when I mean the north, I'm talking about the 12 or 13 Sharia states in the core Arawa North. Not middle belt. He should go there and become a vice chancellor, not in Biafra land. I have not heard from him, so I will give him the benefit of the doubt by asking him that he should refrain from the madness that he's about to embark upon. Every school will be closed down. Any principal, any headmaster, any headmistress, he said, I am one, any fool. That opens his school on Monday. Then you know you you will know how upset we are with some of you if you refuse. And 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 grammaria, these are these are fools that only specialize in writing grammar, they know nothing, nothing comes out of it. Is there electricity in, in Unisic one? Is there any light there? Is there any running water? Can you use the toilet and be able to flush it in Unisic? You cannot, because you're in a zoo. Mad people everywhere. Set exams that they can take a ball or idiot. Everywhere will be on lockdown on the 31st. Everywhere will be on total lockdown on that very day. I don't want any student of the Faculty of Education to go there to write any exams on that very day. Let me see how they're going. Let me see the teachers or lecturers or whoever that will come out and say, in fact, get me anybody you see outside, inside UNICEF. Anybody you see walking around, any lecturer, please forward his name or her name to me or their names to me. We are here to defend our people. We saved you people from the, should I say, from the Islamic rule of Miet Yala in a Boeing state. If not for ESN, if not for IPOB, a Boeing state by now will be under Miet Yala rule. The same way that Plateau state is, the same way they're trying to force Benway state to be. Without the state security network and IPOB, by now most of you will be refugees in Ambazonia. Therefore, when we ask you to sit at home and do nothing, you sit at home, please. We know what we are doing. We are the ones fighting and protecting your lives all these years. If not for what we are doing, of course, by the grace of the Almighty in heaven, by now our land would have been overrun. If not for what we are doing, the whole of Nigeria, would have, the whole indigenous populations will be under the yoke of foreign caliphate. When you wake up in the morning, for goodness sake, say a prayer for IPOB. Say a prayer for the Security Network. They are your saviors that you can see with your two eyes. That Nigeria is talking about restructuring is because of IPOB. Nobody else. No other bad guy is because of IPOB. If you don't know, let me tell you. You must be grateful. And we are here today because of what our fathers did between 67 and 70. And we must honor them. It's the right thing to do. Everywhere in the world they do so. We must honor them. That's precisely what Monday is all about. For those who don't understand. If you like, you come out and anything that happens to you, you will. Don't allow for anybody to say, oh, we, we, we told you. After they finish with the army and the police, they will come after you. I am warning you now, do not come out. It's for your own good. 
We must remember it was it was this same IPOB that started this very tradition of making sure that our land is secure. That you remember those that fought and died for you. It is IPOB, no other person, no other group of people. It is this same noble family that God Almighty in heaven, out of his infinite mercy, decided must come into existence. If you don't know, let me tell you. They were there all this while doing a hanese, doing one rubbish or the other. Nobody remembered those that fought and died for them. An act of wickedness and treachery of the highest order. Zoo, they do their own every, is it every 15th of, um, every 15th of um, 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 uh, January? They remember those that came into your land to kill you. But you cannot remember those that fought and died for you. What sort of people are you? Can, no, no, no wonder they've been killing you, all of you, until we came. Or should I say, until Chiko Kikabiyama determined that we should come. Do you know why they put children's day on the 27th of May? Do you know why they put children's day on the 27th of May? It was on the 27th of May that the Consultative Assembly of the Old Eastern Region sat together in Enugu and decided and gave Ujuku the mandate to declare Biafra, which he did on the 30th of May. Some of you don't know this. To take away the importance of that very day, to take away the importance of that very day, the zoo put Children's Day on the 27th of May. Some of you don't even know. You're saying, oh, 27th of May, Children's Day. You don't know why they did it. This morning, I am telling you the reason why they did it. And before I go any further, having, I hope it's very clear now. I said lockdown, not even sit at home. Lockdown. Lockdown. If your neighbor wants to go out that day, will be good Complete and total lockdown. After all, during the height of the COVID, they stole all your relief they were supposed to give to you. Did you come outside? During the lockdown of, of COVID, the, the, the Chinese virus, did you come out? Did you come out? I'm asking you. You never came out. Now you're going to sit at home on the 31st of May to honor those that you should have been honoring every day of your lives. Every blessed day of your lives, you ought to be honoring these people. Now, there is something that I want to see. Let me see if I can get hold of it. I want to see if I can get hold of it, if they will allow me. I want to play. Um, um, uh, there was something that I said I was going to play this morning. I, I, for some inexplicable reason, I can no longer find it. I wanted to play for the lamentation, the lamentation of, of some individuals. Some individuals that you may be able to understand what is happening, that you may be able to understand what is going on. Because there was this video, I can't find it anymore. I don't know where the video is anymore. There was this video by somebody, Zizamfara, saying that the bandits had taken over their land. As I want them, if you move this very army of yourself, if you move it south, the bandits will take over your territory. I want them. I want them. They did not listen. I'm, I'm trying to. I don't know where. I don't. I don't know where I put it. I, I for some reason I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. I am looking for it. I'm trying to find it so I can play it for some of you. I can play it for some of you. I'm looking for it. Please do bear with me for a second. Oh dear me, where is this thing? Where is it? Okay, I don't I don't know. Uh, where is it? Can somebody please forward it to me if you know it? Um can somebody please forward it to me? Forward it to me. If you have it, you forward it to me, please. If you have it, please try and forward it to me because we are live and direct. I can no longer seem to find it. What we are doing, please, what we are doing is to educate the people. I want them. If you send your troops to our land, there are people in a way right now from Zamfara State. I saw that very video and I wept. They are from Zamfara. They are crying. They are crying and they are lamenting. 
that their villages are being taken over by <laughs> this is a hardened natural born Fulani terrorists from Mali, from Senegambia, from the Niger Republic, they're in Zanfara, killing them. And people from Zanfara, they know they're doing Rambo. I warned you. If I cannot play it now, I will play it in the next two days when I will be back live again on air. Because on the morning of the 31st, I am going to preach this very gospel. We are going to pray. Um, we are going to commence the reading of our Psalms. That is a very special prayer that I pray all the time. And on Monday, I'm going to give you that very secret. On Monday, we are going to start it. We are going to pray the whole of the book of Psalm from 1 to 150. From 1 to 150, starting from Monday. And we are going, I will have a morning broadcast on the morning of the 31st, the day that we are doing our lockdown, our total lockdown, please. I need this thing to be sent to me. and send it to me immediately. Oh, I've gotten it. Thank you very much. I have gotten it now. I'm going to play it for you so that you may know that we prophesy. I don't predict. It's a prophecy. Everything I tell you comes to pass. That's why I keep telling you that heaven will give me a message and I'll pass to those who are living. If you listen to me, if you get motivated, if you listen to me, you will have life. I'm telling you the truth. I want to play something for you this morning that I told you many months back is going to happen. I told you it's going to happen. They will, because it's called hubris. Full and pride and stupidity, their primitive mindset will not allow them to allow Biafra to go easily. And Chuko Kikadam will destroy them. Go anything I tell you, write it down on a piece of paper. It must come to pass. Because I know who I'm worshipping. I don't worship idol. Anything made by hand, anything born of a woman, I cannot bow down before. Do you know what that means? It is in the book of Exodus, chapter 20. Are you following me? I am the Lord your God. You will have no other God before me. That is the number one commandment of God Almighty in heaven. The person, I wouldn't say a person, entity that we give our children, that we name our children after. When you name your child, the children of so, you are venerating God in heaven. When you name your child, the children do, you are worshipping God in heaven. That same God that you named your child after is the God that I worship. Not the God of white man. I don't worship idol. Anything made by hand I cannot bow before. And that is why heaven gives me revelation. And I want to prove it to you. That everything I say is gospel from heaven. When I tell you that the zoo will fall, the zoo will fall. And I've told you something is that by the, at the end of this process, Nigeria will not exist. The name Nigeria will not won't exist. After that, how was that people will reclaim their land, including Gobe? Flame will be nowhere to be found. Write it down on a piece of paper. Let me prove it to you this morning that heaven sent me. Listen. To tell the world the conditions of Zamfara State people today, more especially in Zumi, Bruno Magaji, and Kaurinamu, the local government, that today mandatory activities to our understand have even turns is worse than Boko, Boko Haram to our own understanding because we, with, we have seen their operation with more than 250 by it, each with AK 47. They attack uh, different villages. Uh, they attack a village called Gabaki and kill five people. Tongawa, they kill five people. Uh, the other village called Gigia, they kill one. In a village called Ovoi, in Zomi local government, they kill poor people. In a village called Ryoji, where I came from, they kill one and injure seven people, including my father's younger brother. Uh, secondly, we have a score of people in General Hospital, Kaurinamuda, some in General Hospital, Bruno Magaji, and some has been taken to go. So, so we want to tell the world today that uh, they shall witness what is going, what is going on in Zamfara State. And we are calling the Nigerians, uh, the, uh, we are calling our National Assembly and the, all the executive of Zamfara State in light to do something, to do whatever necessary and stop mandatory activities because it is getting worse. Today we are in condition whereby our pride is priming. Today we cannot go to the Pamis and Forested. Look at our people. Everywhere in the hospital, 
we are all youth graduates, unemployed, and we are jobless. And today, even the farm we are going to get what we are in, we cannot go to the farm. Now we don't even know what is uh, our left and right. Now, now, when I tell you something, will you believe me next time? I said to them, Fulani, you are foolish. I'm talking about even the indigenous populations in Zamfara State, not just the Fulani from Zamfara. You will come down to the east. Your chief of army staff, your Garuba Shehu, and, um, and the police will send you to Imo State. They will send you to Iguacha. We will pay you money to come to Iguacha. But your backyard will be open. They will come in and they will take it. I have, I've been telling you this, that I told you that there is a method to our madness. That is something an average multi-purpose if you cannot understand. That is something an intellectual cannot understand. That is something a sophisticated moron can never understand. That we are more intelligent than them. Hundred times over. That is why anything I say behind this microphone, Almighty is my witness, must come to pass. How many months ago did I tell you that um, they will come because they are very foolish? They will come to the east. Let me tell you my plan once again this morning. And what heaven said is how we are going to fight this very war. You know that the army of Pharaoh was destroyed in the Red Sea. You are aware of that. They drowned in the Red Sea. Biafra land is going to become the Red Sea of the fallen army. There they will drown and there they will die. Let me make, you, make it very, very clear to all of you. You see this army of Nigeria. History will record that they died in Biafra. Complete destruction. Because very many years ago, when we started our atonement, to be doing atonement, to be asking Elohim, please forgive us. We are very sinful. We are horrible. We turned about our back against you. We started following white gods, all these foreign idols, all this nonsense that we have sinned against thee. Please have mercy upon us. God said to us, I have listened to your prayers, but um, uh, my anger and uh, my anger with you people and your fathers for following foreign gods is still there. But I'm going to show you that I'm God. This very process we're in now started. Elohim said that IPOB it will be indestructible. Biafra is going to come, but people are going to die. They will kill you. I will give your army the weapons to fight back. You will kill them. In the end, Biafra will come. Is that what, what, what is happening today? When I started telling you they will kill us, we will kill them in the end, Biafra will come since the year 2013. I've been telling you this. Without fail. You must understand what we are in for. You see this do you know that the Fulani army have died before in Biafra land? Some of you don't know. That is why we are not Muslims. You say you don't know that before. That time, only God fought for us. There was no army. We had no standing army. On the plains of Benue, in the, in the same thing autumn is fighting today. The same way they have descended on, on Benue was how they came. As they were moving their way down to, to Otrupo, God sent an army of angels from heaven to stand guard before his land that he blessed and said beyond this very point that Islam cannot enter. That is why you have Islam in Yoruba land. That is why you have Islam even in some parts of Midwest. It does state today. Some parts of them that have Islam. That is why in Benin Republic, in Cotonou, you have Islam all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. That is why in Togo you have Islam all the way to Lome. That is why in Ghana you have Islam all the way even to Accra. That is why across the entirety of West Africa there is Islam all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. But in the land of Biafra there is no Islam. Ask yourself why. Because the God Almighty in heaven has been protecting your land from time immemorial. Without a standing army, the army of the Janjaweed was defeated. And I prayed to God and I said, let that miracle happen once again in our time. And Elohim said to me, no, I won't do it that way. Instead, you are the ones who are going to kill them. I will bring them to your land and you will kill them. 
that will be their own Red Sea. As Pharaoh's army drowned in the Red Sea, so shall the land of Biafra consume this very army of darkness from the Sahel. But that one thing we shouldn't do is to pretend any fear. We should not be afraid. We should not be the only problem we have is fear itself. That we shouldn't be afraid. Once you're not afraid, that we have won. And that's this battle that we're in right now. You were there when they declared their war. And I said to you that that is my plan. I want to draw the Nigerian army and police into Biafra land and there we'll kill them. Do you understand me? And there will be no way. Those of them that will survive, if at all any will survive, when they go back to Zamfara, they will have nowhere to go to in Zamfara because in their land, in their own land, armed killers are there waiting for them. It's not what is happening. Let me play it for you once again so you understand. Not going to leave with Zimozi. I don't come out in the morning to say what I what I don't I don't know about. It's heaven that is directing me. That is why I don't worship idol. We had a temple in Arochuku before the white man came and destroyed it. Of course, we are sinful the same way the temple of God fell in Jerusalem. And the Muslim took it over and built Alaska Mosque in it and built the dome on the rock. On the same temple mount that Solomon built the house of God upon. These are the things that you must understand. We are sent by heaven, not the sons of men. To preach this very gospel that we may return to who we were before. The worship of Almighty God in heaven. And no idol. We are religious people by nature. That is who we are. That is why we answer Omo and Igwe, the children of the kingdom of heaven. No other society, not even in Israel, do you have such a name. We have a hate your one. We are the light of God shines upon the children of men in Arochubu. These are our names. Or you have forgotten who we are. We answer Ihe, which means light, the children of light. Don't you have Ihe Mposi, Ihe Mposi in, a, in Anambra State? Don't you have Ihe in Umbalan? Don't you have Ihe? Light. In Olokoro, in Omoahe. My grandmother's place, Olokoro, she comes from Ihe the woman that gave birth to my father. Don't you have it here? We call it here. It's not here. It's here. Light. Don't you have it? Where we come from? Tell me any other place in this world where their name is light or light of God. The H O A. As you have another people. Tell me where on this earth. Tell me where you have Omo and Igwe, the children of the kingdom of heaven in any good state as we have today. Show me where else in the world. Why won't I worship God? Who are you to tell me who God is? Do you praise God with your name? My name is Namde. My Redeemer liveth. Now you understand why we worship God the way we do. Why God is central to everything that we do. We are sinful. Who, who isn't? After all, we are mortal flesh. But we cannot forego nor abandon our identity. Not the identity the white man gave you, you morons, you fools. That was why God abandoned us until we came. And he said, now that you have come, you will see what I'm going to do. How do you think we, we chased away Mjeti Allah from our land? Do you think it's by our might, our own power? Is that what you think? Elohim is in heaven. I'll play it for you once again. There is a method to our madness. You come into our land, you are going to die in our land. And by the time you get back to where you come from, you idiots from the Sahel, you have no home to go to. There are people in Zafra right now in Enukudu Rambo, jumping from one street to the other one, protecting those of them. Those of them mass land is safe. Your own land in Zamfara is gone. You idiots, go back to where you come from and defend your land. From ESN where you come from, or the version of ESN, and defend your land. From killers and murder. Full and they're deceiving you. With pension of 40,000 naira, sending you to the East to go and fight. Whereas your own land is gone. I will play it for you, fools, once again, so you understand. We want to tell the world. We want to tell the world. Uh -huh. No 
especially in Zulmi, Bruno Magaji, and Kaurangamu, the local government, that today mandatory activities to our understand have even those is worse than Boko Haram to our own understanding. Because we, with, we have seen their operation with more than 250 bikes, each with AK-47. Mm -hmm. They attack uh, different villages. Mm -hmm. uh, they attack a village called Gabaki and kill five people. Uh -huh. Two hours, they kill five people. Uh -huh. uh, the other village called Gigia, they kill one. Mm -hmm. In a village... It, 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 the bo the boy, uh, the young man is naming all the villages where people are being slaughtered like chicken. But people from Zamfara are wearing police and army uniform in Imo State. Now, I want to understand what is wrong with the brain of black people. I am from Ibego. And you send me to, to, to Sokoto to go and be fighting insurgency in Sokoto. Whereas in my village, that is me, Etiala, killing people. Why would I remain in Sokoto? Why would I remain in Sokoto? And he's a graduate, huh? You can see he, the quality of his English. Very soon now he'll be a permanent secretary, or maybe secretary to, to, to the federal to the to the federal government of Nigeria. These are the mess that we are in. And I thank God Almighty that after years of shouting and screaming, our Yoruba brethren now understand what we have been saying all along. It is not born out of hatred for anybody. It is so that you may know the truth, and that truth will set you free. Listen, let me finish playing it. Zamfara. They are doing a uh, Nigerian army. Go to the east. Anything you see there, you kill it. It's bandit men, women, or children. And please also send me the video now, please, of that one. You will see them, these people, follow them from Zamfara, yelling their troops coming to kill innocent children in Biafra land. Nigerian army. Everybody is pretending they cannot see. Everybody is blind. They cannot see. Uh, I don't want to go into our names. Or Luchuku Tamono. Hmm? That mean we name our children Obasi after God Himself in heaven, and a white man came with rubbish, and you people are feeling you people are stupid. People who are circumcised, I, I can't understand you people. And God said, "Let me leave these people are foolish. Let me leave them." And for fifty years, He left us. Until he said, now that you are ready to come back to me, you see, you are, by the time Jafra comes, you worship me forever and ever. I do worship us everywhere. Now listen very carefully, please. In Zulmi local government, they kill poor people. Mm -hmm. In a village called Rioji, where I came from, they kill one and injure seven people, mm -hmm. including my father's younger brother. Uh, secondly, we have a school of people in General Hospital, Kaurangamuda, some in General Hospital, Bruno Magaji, mm -hmm. and some has been taken to Guso. So we want to tell the world today that uh, they show. No, they want to tell the world. There's something I've been telling the world ever since. <laughs> now they want to tell the world. Though. Now they want to tell the world. <laughs> something I've been telling the world since nobody wants to hear. Now this one wants to tell the whole world what is going on. Now, do you follow us? There is no pronouncement. If God is not with us, how, why is it that when I say something, it happens exactly the same way? Why? It's a simple question for an ordinary intellectual to answer. If Elohim is not with us, why is it anything I say comes to pass exactly the same way? It's as if it is clockwork. That is something that Fulani cannot understand. They cannot comprehend it. I told you they will come to Walanda. When they come to Walanda, their own land will be taken over by, the, by their, their own bandit. Is it not happening now? Let's finish it and then I will play the other one for you. What is, going, what is going on in Zamfara State? Mm -hmm. And we are calling the Nigerians, uh, the, uh, we are calling our National Assembly and the <laughs> executive of Zamfara State ALI to do something to stop unnecessary and stop mandatory activities because it is getting worse. Yeah. Today we are in condition whereby our pride is priming. Today we cannot go to the farm in Zamfara State. Uh -huh. Look at our people everywhere in the hospital. Uh -huh. We are all youth graduates, all in Poland, we are jobless. And today, even the farm we are going to get what we are in, we cannot go to the farm. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't even know what is uh, our left and right. Uh -huh. They don't know your left and right. Are you listening to it? We don't know what. Keep following the Sultan of Sokoto. 
you fools from the north keep following all these idiots telling you is not is not uh, sharia and all that rubbish look at where you are now ordinary people are suffering ordinary people are suffering the young man is in pain you can see the pain on his face and i want that video everywhere please i want it everywhere and that is why i keep saying that uh, it's, uh, it's as if satan put together nigeria i'm telling you the truth and also made the people not to be able to reason properly is it not very clear to everybody now that everything i say comes to pass it is the truth we don't do what we do out of hatred we do it out of compassion and out of love for people now say to go well i told you before that nigerian army cannot fight they only specialize in killing see nigerian army is an instrument of terrorism they don't fight like soldiers they are cowards they are cowards and they say oh, uh, oh one day ESN will start attacking. you know it's not going to happen it can never happen unless you're an informant or a saboteur let me play a clip for you once again before we open our lines and I want, I hope that the ICC, they are paying attention. Everybody, Katrina Lang has run away. I don't know where she ran to. She says she's on holiday. <laughs> that blood sucking demon, she has, she has run away. I don't know why, why she ran to. I want her to listen to because I know she's, everybody listens to this program, of course. The whole world, they listen to us, of course. I want her, Katrina Lang, to listen to this very program. This very clip I'm about to play. Nigerian Army, yes. They cannot fight. They have never won any battle in their never without foreign help. Never in their history. Only to kill civilians. The only army in the world whose primary function is to reduce the population of their own people. That if, believe you me, if you know what I know about the Nigerian army, anybody wearing that uniform, if you see them, you kill them. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you they are your problem. But one day you will realize it. I'm saying it now, you think maybe he's upset with Nigerian army, no? Once they put on that uniform, there is a full any demon that goes inside them. They lose touch with humanity. They are no longer human. I want to play this clip again for you. The first clip is the one that justified our prophecy. This is the second one. To also prove to all of you that Nigerian army cannot fight. They are civilian murderers. That's what they do. They only kill civilians. Nothing else in their useless existence. Now, listen, please. Listen. In, in Hausa language. Anybody you see in the east is a bandit. Not their own bandits in the north, oh, ravaging Zamfara. Not their own bandits in the north, ravaging Zamfara. No, 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 no. It's in the east. Civilian murderers. Because in the north, the, the bandits, they have, the bandits in the north, they have AK-47. But in the east, people are not armed. <laughs> do you see how they do you see how they operate in the east they're not armed he's saying go anything you see is a bandit in the east this is the shoot at sight order that they were denying it is here i'm playing it for you from the barracks where they left to go and kill civilians and this is our our famous nigerian army our army our boys our troops Anybody, even if you're my friend, if you refer to Nigerian army as our boys, I will have a major war with you. I don't care who you are. These are the idiots that you call your boys and our boys, our men in uniform. These are the, these are the animals in uniform. Let me play it for you, please, once again. Anybody you see there, a bandit? Mm -hmm. Anybody where you see a bandit? Don't forget, to anybody there, a bandit? Anybody you see, man, woman, auntie, uncle, you see in the east, kill them. They are bandits. These are Janjaweed. Are you following? This is Nigerian army. One day, this idiot is saying this rubbish will become a major general. 
the only war he's ever fought is to go to Nkonewi and kill people in the market. And you're a general in Nigeria. This is why Nigeria must be destroyed. The name Nigeria, eh? Tell, I'm telling you, that is extinguished from history books. The place is brimming with evil upon evil. These are the things you must understand. These are the things that you ought to know. That is your one Nigeria for you. Look at Mike. Anywhere they see any young Igbo boy, they arrest. Any boy, anywhere they see me, what they arrest. There's something in Igbo state. The day the madness will reach them now, all of you, all of you witness. That is the thing about me. Of course, now I know why God put black people at the bottom of the pile. Why black people are the lowest of the low in the whole world. After black people, you now get chimpanzees, you now get apes, and you get monkeys. Now I know. Because you people are, you are evil. You are wicked. Now that wicked is going about abducting people in broad daylight, no, nobody will talk home. Now that Hopus Adema is busy abducting nobody, with the, now that that idiot called uh, uh, Omahi is yapping and running his mouth with his uh, dubatoro, nobody will talk. Any day we hit them now, all of you will start writing your epistles. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. Uh, uh, have they not appointed a new chief of army staff? I'm asking all of you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, um, multi purpose a full of fools have then reported another one. They, they, full of don't give a damn about you what you think. They be they are so arrogant. Nigeria is there, so you cannot do anything. They can buy Facebook, they can buy Google, they can buy Twitter, they can buy anybody they like. They have the money. Britain, that the Britain is behind them. They can do whatever they like, anything they like, they can do. Anything they like, they can do, and they feel they can get away with it. And all of you are asking, "One Nigeria? We are Nigerians. We are Nigerians. You people are hopeless." <laughs> it was the Human Rights uh, Writers Association of the Zoo, Huri, what they call themselves, that said, uh, uh, "What did they actually say? That uh, Buhari is not a believer of one Nigeria for doing this, doing what." For appointing another Fulani man into a sensitive security position. All of you, all you can do from the south is to beg. You people are not ashamed of yourselves. You're in your father's land, you're in the land of your ancestors, and you're begging somebody from the Sahel, somebody from the semi arid Sahel, a nomad, to make your life better. Are you not foolish? Are you not foolish? A man with you look at look at how they have corruption hanging on. Even Malami, your so-called AGF attorney general of the Federation, Malami, who doesn't even know understand the rule of law, the idiot is mired in corruption. Look at Magu, another Janjaweed of EFCC. He stole the money that he recovered from people they claim we are corrupt. This is the type of country that you're rooting for. I'm a Nigerian, this will get better. In my next life, I don't want to see any of you. I'm telling you the truth. In this UG, you deep, you disgust me. You have brain that cannot reason. Uh, oh dear. They have condemned whoever they call Buhari in Asarok for appointing another northerner. That's what they call it. They call it northerner instead of for an agent Jawid. Emmanuel uh, Omobiko issued a statement saying that they, they are refusal to. Imagine if. Let, let me say. Imagine. That this administration is an Igbo administration with an Igbo man as chief of army staff, Igbo man as naval staff, Igbo man as air force, Igbo man as hey, hey! By now, there will be no Igbo person left to the north. They will kill everybody. You will see Britain that time come and say, but you have federal character as part of your constitution. Why don't you do something about it? But now that the foreign is doing it, everybody has gone mute. All of you cannot talk. It's only IPOB who can speak. Where is Katrina lying? No more federal character. I told you that the Fulanese do not know how to obey simple laws. They don't know. They don't know the meaning of law. They don't know. There is something called federal character. Federal character in the Constitution. The country is, is it 61 years old, if I'm not mistaken. 
the zoo called nigeria is 61 years old if i'm not mistaken please correct me if i'm wrong their constitution is less than um, 20 years old or thereabout or should i say 22 years old so in other words the governing document of a place called nigeria is younger than the country itself I paid attention to what Omo Agege was saying. I think he's either the deputy, I don't know, what, is, he the, is he in the Senate? I, don't, I think he's the deputy Senate leader, one of the idiots that went and tied the sheet on his head or bandage before they made him deputy um, Senate and president or thereabout. I don't know what the title he holds. His name is Omo Agege. You know what the idiot said a few days ago? We are not going to rewrite the 1999 constitution because everywhere else in the world, people just don't wake up and rewrite their own constitution. They keep amending it until it becomes a perfect document. Of course, I agree with him. He made a very valid point. Then what Omo Agege failed to tell the gullible, miseducated zoo animals called Nigerians is this. Why did you not start this, your series of amendments with the 1963 Republican Constitution? Why must you stop at night? Why, why must you use 1999 Constitution? Why not 1979? Why not 1963? Why not even 1960 Constitution? If you claim, <coughs> excuse me, that rewriting a Constitution is bad, which of course I believe as well, Incidentally, I do believe that. I believe that no constitution is, is, uh, is perfect. People amend it over time. I understand that. That is how it obtains all over the world. But I'm asking you, why therefore did you not go back to the 1963 Republican Constitution and start your amendments from there? I don't know if I'm making any sense to people. Or oh, Gege, I think he's the Deputy Senate uh, Leader or whatever his name is of the zoo. Deputy Senate President. I'm asking him a simple question. You posited and rightfully so that people just don't abandon their constitution, they amend it. I agree with you. If that is the case, why did Abdul Salami Abubakar abandon 1979 constitution? Why did he not amend it? In fact, let us go even go further. Why is it that those that wrote the 1979 constitution did not refer back and amend the 1963 constitution? Because it was the military that truncated the whole process. It was go on that said to create states. Before we were in our regions, everybody doing fantastically well. Believe you me, even the north was growing economically. The largest textile mill in West Africa was in, I think it was in Kaduna. They were doing so well. Do you know there's a truck company called Iveco? I-V-E-C-O. Do you know uh, Fiat? Trucks were being assembled in the north. How many of you know about Savannah Sugar Company in somewhere in Numan, in, uh, in uh, Jukun land today? Is it your uh, Gongola State? I used to know it as Gongola State. How many of you, of you know this? That before Dangote came, that Nigeria used to manufacture sugar locally. Now Dangote imports sugar. And that time, my uncle used to work for Savannah Sugar Company in Numan. I'll never forget. I used to ask him, is there any Jordanian river there? Why is the name Numan? Because Numan is in the Bible. That went into Jordan and his leprosy was cured. I used to ask my uncle that question. Do you know that there was a time that people were working in sugarcane plantation? Huge, massive, massive sugarcane plantation in present day. Is it Yobe? I don't know what they call it. Is it Gongola State? Let me use Gongola, please. Do you know that? And they work in the farm. They caught mind his employment. They, then there was no banditry because everybody had a job to do. They would cut down the sugar cane. They would take it to the Savannah Sugar Company. They squeeze it. They press it until sugar crystals would begin to emerge. And they sent it down to the east. That is the sugar we used to use. Because Oyibo on then used to be, that was Tate and Lyle from Britain and St. Louis in a blue box but savannah sugar company is on a white box with green and red writing livery on top of it i'm old enough to remember savannah sugar company young people that should have been working in that plantation now making sugar for everybody they are now bandits with ak-47
And somebody is telling me, Dangote is the richest man in Africa. I said, you people are fool. In this young As I said, in my next life, I won't meet you people. Black, by God forbid, I won't meet you people. The way you people reason, I will never jam you again in life. If there is any afterlife, I will, I, my one thing I will beg God is, don't mix me with these people again. I don't want to see them. Thank you very much. It's called Adama was State now. Thank you for that. Adama was State is called now. Who brought in states? State creation in Nigeria came about because one man, go on, wanted to spite Ujubu. Let us divide them. State creation is an instrument of divide and rule. Some of you can never get it. How come when Nigeria was in regions, they were doing very well? As soon as they started to create their useless, non-viable states, everybody became poor. Why can't you? It's the same thing with churches. How come in the olden days when there were only um, um, Roman Catholic Church, Anglican, Methodist, Presbyterian, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Assemblies of God, um, Cherubim and Seraphim, I should add, and which other old church? Apostolic Church, uh, that is very old, Apostolic Church, everything was working very well. At least, even though people were worshipping God in ignorance, but at least they were worshipping God in truth and in every honesty. Until the mercantile set came in, until merchants came with the Pentecostalism. Since that day, church, hallelujah, Holy Ghost fire. Look at your lives. It's called common sense. It's called reflection. Reflection. Refle reflect on the life before and the life now that is church in every corner. In some buildings you have nothing. In fact, in some hotels, in their lobby, after one, uh, uh, one church must have finished between 7 and 9 in the morning, another one will come in from 9 to 11, another one will come from 11 to 1. Are you people being blessed? The answer is no. When Nigeria was in regions, ask all of these people everywhere. There was one is the idiot called Isasa, Isasa, whatever fool. They say he's the senior advocate. You know when they say somebody's a senior advocate in the zoo, I laugh. Isasa, that idiot of APC, saying, oh, can they please go back to the 1963 constitution and then remove the regions and allow the states to be there? What they want to say is that if you go back to the regions, uh, some people will become a minority. And then I want to ask all of you who travel to America to buy your houses for medical care and to get citizenship. Do you have any relative in the House of, um, in the Senate uh, of America or House of Reps? I want to debunk all this nonsense. If, if had this present APC regime, had they been doing very fine, do you think anybody would complain? You're in America, is, is Joe Biden your relative? Is Joe Biden your uncle? But you prefer to be a U.S. citizen, isn't it? Because of the policies that they run. It's simple common sense. What I'm asking all of them, jumping up and down, creating states, give us another state. Give us a, when, compare now that you have, is it 49 states or is it 39? I don't know how many, or is it 32? I have no idea. Compare now to when you had only three or four regions in the whole of Nigeria. Economically speaking, which era would you love to live in? Then that will answer your question. This UG black people. I think the problem with, with we black is that we don't reason very well. I've been saying it from any day I come on air, I say it because black people do not reason very well. That is why we are suffering. That is why everybody's in pain. And that is why we must do something to try and rectify it. And this very morning, that is precisely what we are doing here, live and direct to the whole of mankind. This is Radio Biafra. We are live. The time now is 11 minutes past. 8 a.m. in the glorious and blessed land of Biafra. It may not look like that now, but we know what we have. And in the fullness of time, the whole world will come to the inescapable realization that Biafra is indeed the kingdom of heaven upon the face of this very earth. They have appointed another Janjaweed. And they said Omahi is giving ultimatum. I'm asking uh, people, uh, if you are part of a non gone man, if you're this, come and bring it. Because our family in a boy state is in very serious trouble, IPB family there. Because they have fallen for, for mammon. I think that's what they call it. Is it mammon? They call it the avarice, the, 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 the demon of, um, of, of ill gotten wealth. A boy state, IPOB family. A boy state, IPOB family. Ebony State IPOB. How many times have I called you now? 
Be very, very careful. Dave Omahi is walking about with money, giving some of you bags of money to bring IPUB family members and our volunteers to go and join Ebu Bag. If you join Ebu Bag, you are going to die eventually. I just want you to understand that very, very clearly you will die, you will perish. You are under oath. You will die eventually. If you join Ebu Bag, you are going to die. That is, that is for sure. Therefore, man, he brought out money and be giving to all of distributing money every carelessly everywhere. Money he got from Islamic Bank. That was why they allowed the idiots to go to, to, to their useless house of rock, flanked by Femi Additional, talking rubbish. Therefore, man, he will destroy a boy state. We have recovered a boy state from Mietiala. It seems you idiots want to go back to the era of Mietiala ruling you people. Don't allow me to place a curse upon you. IPOB family in Ebony State must sit up. I mean, this morning. I identify anybody who talks to Dave or Mahi must be identified immediately and dealt with. They brought their money that distributing. Some of you are even contemplating going to Johnny Bubago as if you're mad. After eating that money, then what happens to you? You idiots, what will happen to you? And I must make it very, very clear because of what is now happening in a boy state, having succeeded in chasing away Miyeti Yala, they have given a lot of money to Dave Omahi to distribute to some of you idiots so that Fulani can come back and recolonize a boy state. Because of that, we are now dividing a boy into three command structures in a boy state. Eastern Security Network in Ebony State will now, it will no longer be headed by one person. We are going to have three commanders, their names nobody will know, to avoid contamination. And these women, Ebony will have three commanders. Ebony State will have three commanders, not one overall commander. I'm announcing it on air so that they will hear, people on the ground will hear me. Ebony State will have three commanders on the ground. Imo State, three commanders on the ground. Iguacha, three commanders on the ground. They are the only states that we have three commanders. All other states still have only one commander. All these other states I've mentioned, Eboi, Imo, and Iguacha, which is River State, three, three commanders each. And they're independent of one another. But under one central command. So you understand it very clearly. We cannot, we, 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 are so, we are too educated to allow these fools to penetrate us. It's not going to happen. And I must warn every coordinator in all of these states that I've just mentioned. Our coordinator of that very state, I am watching all of you. If anything goes wrong with our family in that state, I will hold you personally responsible. You must understand that this is IPUB. You must understand it this very morning. Look at it. So, so uh, Devil Mahi is, is smarter than we are. Is that what you're telling me? That X for one niner. He, he he had no living. He made a living by stealing from people. He's a scam, and he's a, he 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 will sit down in front of his laptop and be and be doing wayo with white people. That is the idiot that is in the state trying to convince you not to pursue your freedom. Dara. The coordinator of Ebony State, Imo State, and Iguacha should be very, very careful. IPOB was ordained by heaven itself, not man. Do not mix with politicians. I say do not. It's an order, a direct order from me, live on air. Live on air. Do not. I repeat, do not. We are live and we are direct and the whole world is bearing us witness. The whole world is bearing us witness. I'm going to now open the line, but before that, you know that uh, Governor Autumn has asked the Benue people to defend themselves and the killings of um, people there is still going on unabated. Nothing is stopping them. And they are coming down to the south. As I've warned you before, they be there and I'm back before, write it down the piece of paper. They are coming down south. We have to wait for the real army. The real army is coming. 
This one they're using now in Imo State, uh, hope also they don't mind the smoke stream. I understand that one idiot, I don't want to mention the the buffoon's name, is uh, talking about uh, people should come out that they have secured. He said, now, nah, we'll come out in Imo State now. Come out in you nowhere know, on Monday. Can take a ball walk home. Come out, let us see. You have yourself to blame. Everywhere is on a lockdown. Every road closed. I want every road to be closed. Go into the, all the young people in every village. Go to the bush. Cut down trees, big ones. Block every road. Then we trap any vehicle stupid enough. will be trapped inside the trick upon their Hong Kong. Then both the driver and the passengers. Go to punish all of you. No movement, I said. No aircraft. Go, if you know airpiece. If you know any aircraft operator, tell them no flight is coming into Owele. No flight into Enugu. No flight into Asaba. That's what I said. No flight should come in. None whatsoever should come in. For their information, no flight should come in. I understand people that work in the oil sector may want to fly into water. That is their prerogative. We don't want to stop them. Is uh, They are doing vital economic work, believe it or not. But in the core areas I've just mentioned, no flights should come in. I said no flights should come in. And no movement on the road. I want all the young people everywhere across all of Biafra land, from Bakasi all the way to Godomigodo, block every road. I want every major road blocked. Blocked. No movement anywhere. There will be one idiot that they will say, ah, when he began, nothing is happening. Let's go out. Then your family will bury you. Let me now open the lines, please. Some of you may have the numbers already. Uh, if you have it, please do call. And I will take your call. I don't want anybody to greet me this morning, please. Do not greet me. Once you come on air, you give us your name and where you're calling from, and that will be enough. Imagine Omahi gives bandits orders, ultimatum to surrender. Look at this idiot. Uh, the more I see this man's face, the more I want to read. I want to use my fingers and tear out, gouge out his eyes. He irritates me. The worst of the very worst, I'm telling you the truth. Dave Omahi. The worst of the very worst, I'm telling you. I have a caller on the line. This caller, if you can hear me, please, your name and where you're calling from, if you may. Yeah, good morning. I'm calling from Cyprus. From Cyprus. And what is your first name, please? Um, my first name you are doing um which means you don't know who you are call another station please the caller on the line can you hear me yes i can hear you martin i'm the colonel good morning sir can good, you hear me sir good morning to you your name please and where you're calling from thank you so much my name is okay i'm calling you from spain precisely malaga thank you very much please go ahead the world is listening to you go ahead yes thank you and uh, we're all listening to you all your broadcast today is very great and we're listening to you very, very well. And uh, we are taking note of your order and everything you say must surely come to pass and we must obey your order. As you say that no movement from 30th to 31st of this month, we are going to remember our heroes, somebody like Ikonso and those who died before him and those who will die again because they have been killing us every day and we must remember them. That one is for sure. Forever and ever, the order has been given. And uh, when you see, uh, I want uh, I want you also to, to I want to draw your attention in Enugu Enugu State because I'm from I'm from Suka. So I want to draw your attention. There are a lot of things is going on there. I know I'm a first caller. I will not talk much about that, but I want you to draw your attention there. And uh, the point you made as you divide the uh, Iwocha uh, and uh, and Imo State and uh, and uh, Ebony State as you give to the command there, yeah, it's very very good. It's a very very Good development and i want you to look i want you to look upon upon a new state to do exactly that in a new state i'm not commanding you but i'm just trying to advise you because a lot of things is going on now in a new state the leadership of uh, of Enugu and the leadership of Osuka, they are having misunderstanding between themselves and uh, our african rep have come to Osuka to try to settle the problem but it, it, the problem still stand the problem is still going on. So I'm drawing your attention in Enugu State to come and look upon what is happening there. I will not talk much about that. I will not because you are, I'm live on air. I want you to come and look upon that and, and do the needful there before things get out of hand. 
because I see, I see, I, I see that the demons, exactly the demon that is is entering our people in Ebony. The same demon is also moving around in Enugu State now, as I'm telling you. And the demon is touching some of us there. And I want you to do the needs before the demon uh, 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 go rampart. Very, very important. I'll do so. so that is my point. My point this very morning. And thank you so much, Jenny. We really appreciate you. And we must continue. Biafra is our destination. No immortal will stop us. Of no immortal, not even Fulani Jenja, we not even the world will stop us because behind me may be here more. We are in Atuna, we are in Atuna, and we are in Atuna, and we are in Atuna, and we are in And at the end, we glorify the Almighty God forever and ever. Thank okay. you so much. He said, he said, thank you, and well spoken. Anywhere there's a problem, we identify and we cut it out. Uh, but we are IPOB, so we must be disciplined. We are in command and control, but any coordinator that is proven to have held meetings with any governor or with any politician, you are a gunner. Take a walk. We we'll set an example with you. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Yeah. My name is uh, Ifani. Ifani from Germany. Ifani from Germany, please. We are listening. Go ahead. I appreciate what you do for the uh, union of Biafra, and we thank you. So, my contribution now from uh, Edo State, for our side for Edo State, for Umo, the local government, full arrangement, the destroy our... You are from Edo State. What is your name again? Ifa, Ifa, Ichuku. Ifa, Ichuku from Edo State. I hope that yeah. the Janja we are listening. Ifa, Ichuku from Edo State. And you want yeah. me not to take him with me into Biafra? Oh my God! Please yeah, go ahead. So for our land, for our land, for a do state there, they destroy our farm land. Which so part? You know, which part of Edo is that? Yeah, from Gunoba or Guneki. And your name is Ifani. Yeah, Ifani. Please go ahead. We're listening. Go ahead. So they destroy our farm land for them. Uh, they rape our mothers. They kill our people for them. They don't pit camp for our reserve. So people know the farm again. For that, uh, Gonoba, from Gonoba to Gonek to Apu side. So, cow on a cow, they destroy everything. With the no body, they could go farm again. We will have put this up for that place. So, that is why I say, if uh, go fee help us for ESN for that place, may they come pursue them, come up for that. Uh, okay, ESN will go there because uh, I don't need the permission of anybody. Your name is Ifan. You could before they say that uh, evil people have come again to take our land. You know how our people behave sometimes. Uh, people will be moving to that very place and I want you to send me a message after this give me the precise location of these vagabonds, these vandals from the Sahel and ESN will go there and drive them away and by this time next week you will hear the story okay send it now, thank you very much thank you very very much very very sensible callers this morning I, I, I hope it can continue I hope it can continue please I have another caller on the line, this caller can you hear me they can't hear me I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Uh, good morning. Good, good morning, morning to you. See. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. You see, oh, blood, that's so good. Good morning. Good morning. Because you always like, because you see, forgive. But I want to because you see. That's no problem. That's no problem. It's okay, that's no problem. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Easy, easy. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, Solomon calling live on air. There. That is how what true repentance should be like. When you repent, you come live on air and repent live on air. That's what I like. I've not spoken to him now for heaven knows nearly a year. He was a very good boy before. I took him as my younger brother, uh, but um, it's better that he has repented, and I'm very glad. The color on the line, maybe because of the wife. You know, the wife is 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 a hardcore. Hardcore, hardcore Biafran. Hardcore. So the most wife is a hardcore Biafran. And that's what I like. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? The caller on the line, the caller on the line, is a hardcore, hardcore. You see? Hello? Yes, please, your name and where you're calling from? Oh, thank God. My name is, my name, my name is, um, Ijoma. I'm calling from Sweden. Ijoma from Sweden. Go ahead, please. We are listening. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm from o um, Omaha, Odomaya to be precise. Oh, Odom, so Odomaya. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. 
Yes, I'm so excited that, I, that I'm able to reach you this morning. This is just more than big for me. And I want to say thank you so much for what you have been doing. And there's this revelation I got, and I've been trying to reach to you to, to, to talk about it. I think at the ending of two months ago, I was uh, meditating um, in the middle of the night with a word called um, I was uh, meditating with that word. So suddenly, I got a revelation and I saw Fulanis, the Kabaz. They are more than 20 with um, their hair being wrapped with this long hair tie and, being, and with the big clothes they are wearing. So the next thing I saw, they were all moving with speed to the east, to the whole Ipo land. And I was like, what is going on here? And the next thing I saw, they all got blind. All of them, they all got blind. They couldn't see anymore. I was like, Jesus, I just jumped out of my bed. I was like, God, what is going on? I said, what is this? And the Spirit of God told me that these are the enemies of Biafra, the Kabas, the, the Fulanis, the, the Fulanis, that, that, that Biafra is a spiritual thing. That the battle has been fought already spiritually, and it has been won spiritually. He now said that we should not be afraid that they will come in, that they will come in Biafra land heavenly. But none of them will go scot free. They will not that go free. Exactly what I heard. The army of Nigeria will die in Biafra land. I'm telling you the truth. Yes. Uh, they will die there. Exactly. You will see. He you said, see. Don't be afraid that they will come in. Obviously, they will come in. But they will ne no, no, none of them, none of them will ever go scot free. That that is what I saw. Very that good. they all went blind. Meaning, when they come physically, that none of them will go scot free. After what, about one week, that was when the Nigerian army started tripping in, into Biafra. And when I heard it, I, I was like, oh my God. So my last priest told me, remember what I told you that they will come. They will, but come. They will not go free. They will not go. They will I not was go. so excited. I'm so yes. glad. And then before yesterday again, I got another, I had another dream again. I saw myself in, 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 in Biafra land. The whole floor, the whole road, the whole, every year, the whole ground was pumping out with blood. Every year was pumping out with blood, blood, blood. And I was like, God, what is going on? And the next thing, I saw myself, I want to take a shower in that dream. And I saw people moving around in that dream, in the whole Biafra land. And they were like, what is going on? Blood, we are pumping out from the ground. Everything was soaked with blood. Let, let me, let, let me, let me just stay where you are for a second. I want to clarify something for people to follow this. I know so, so, sometimes we say we read the Torah, the Old Testament, the scriptures, but we don't learn anything from it. Uh, we're always afraid of war. Every time we're afraid, hey, we don't want another war. We don't want another war. Let me tell you something. Some of you, 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 you you've seen Israel. We're hailing them, the Iron Dome how they were fighting terrorism and all the rest of it. Everybody was clapping. But that same Israel was invaded by the Amorites, the Amalekites, the Canaanites. They were invaded by the Babylonians. The, the Hittites came and invaded them. They uh, named them now. The Assyrians came and killed them. The, the Romans came and killed them. The Europeans even came. Despite how the land of Israel was flowing with blood for, for nearly four and a half thousand years. It did not stop this generation of Benjamin Netanyahu from rising up and defending Israel the way it did for the past two weeks. So our land is going to flow with blood, but it is going to flow with the blood of the enemy. That I can assure you, because they will die there. And my sister, before you go, one thing I want to ask you, you said you're from Old Omai. I know how the yes. name Old Omai came about. So forget about Old Omai. He's a white man's name that the colonial man gave to okay, us when they were coming from Abam. Are you from yes, Ume Lady or Ibeji? Where do you come from? From Ume Choko Village. Ume Choko Village. Ume Choko yes. Village. What is the wider clan of Ume Choko? Where did they come from? The wider clan. How does that? I don't know that history. Nah, you see, honest. yeah, that, that, that is the problem that we have. I am from Isiama Farupu. Afaruku is in Ibeku clan. You understand me? I am from Isiama. Yes, Isiama is in Afara. Afara is in fact basically yes, I am from Omodoma. Omodoma in Etitinabo. Etitinabo is in Isiama. Isiama is in Afaruku. Afaruku is in Ibeku. That's where I come from. Because we keep using this yes, word old Oma. If you ask where you come, you say you're from old Oma. And I keep asking them, are you are you from Ibeji? Or who lady? Where do you actually come from? Because these are the two clans. 
Umujoku must come from somewhere. They, there must be, I, I'm, as I said before, I've told you where I come from. There must be something sitting on top of it. That's what I want to know. The white man came to, to Afibeji. Some people trading and asked them, what is the name of this place? The, the woman said to them, this is Omaha. They said, oh, this is Omaha. When they came to, to Beach Market, uh, Ugmabri in Omaha, they saw the same people yes, trading. I said, this is now Omaha. They now called you Old Omaha. Old people, oh, they, they, they now named you Old Omaha. There is nothing like Old Omaha. People from that part of the world, a place that I love very much, must go back and tell me what their name is, not Old Omaha. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you very, very much. Very close to home, I must say. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you are, please. I, I can hear you, sir. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, morning Uncle. Uh, my name is Elko. Carlo, I'm from Abeba. I'm calling you from Italy. From Italy, please go ahead. Please, uh, I have two questions to ask you, sir. You know, from where I come from, from Abeba, you know, there are some of our names like Avo, as I normally would say now, Avo, Carlo, Mang, Onoha, you know, all those names. When our, in our childhood, we are trying to, we are meant to understand that those names are like evil names. Please, and uh, I want to is there anyhow you can do something on that be explain to us that's our name, that's the name of from where we came from, you know. But you are trying to make to understand their evil names. You know? There is nothing like it's a is is an idiot. So so what is the meaning of um, of um, of Smith? Huh? Yeah. I'm asking them. Uh, what, what, is, what is the meaning of um of, of Biden? Does it have any meaning? Does it have any meaning? There is no way that Alpha can be a bad name. All our names before if you if you if you give birth to a child where will come from you think very carefully before naming that very child because everybody where we come from you even if you your mom were to die at childbirth and your you your father died before you were given birth to you have uncles you come from somewhere everybody comes from somewhere we are not like the ginger weed when they give birth to you in kotangora you answer mama in kotangora they give birth to you in Fontua. your name becomes isa Fontua because you have no father where we come from you must have kindred you must have kindred people should go back and read things fall apart over and over and over and over and over again to understand who we are and we, where we are coming from and where we're going to you must have a kindred any name you are given to has a spiritual connotation. It serves a purpose. Don't allow this idiot that go to all these stupid Pentecostal schools to come back and be talking rubbish with their fake American accent, telling you nonsense about Christianity. Don't allow that to cloud the sense of judgment. All our names are very, very special. All our names are very, very precious. And I must let people understand this. The only reason why the religion of the white man took hold where we come from is this was because there were some practices we were involved in that was basically against the law of the land itself. As I said, go back to things fall apart and read it. You will remember that warrior said to the father of Kongwa that Ikemefuna was innocent of whatever thing that happened in his village. That was why he ran and joined the church. People must understand this very clearly. Thank you very much. I have another caller on the line. This caller, please give us your name and where you're calling from. The world is listening. Yeah, good, good morning. Good morning, my Lord and my Savior. His Excellency. My name is Ozemena. Ozemena, I'm calling from Dakar, Senegal. Yes, go ahead. Please, Mazi. There are two things I want to I want to point out right now, and uh, it is very very crucial and very very important in this struggle. One is the ego of Aaron D. Zogo. The ego of Aaron D. Zogo. He cannot raise it. He's a Kusman. An intelligent me, an intelligent gathering. They have an intelligent gathering that they are going to be pointing out IP all IPOB members in Aaron D. Zogo. That they are going to eliminate every IP single IPOB member in Aaron D. Zogo. Mazi, please check this information very well and verify it. It is a very rightful source of information. I'm telling you the facts. Then secondly, Mazi, when are we going to be pointing out all these egos in our land? Because they are the ones putting us in this mayhem that we are seeing ourselves now. Because 
without this egos, without this uh, uh, chips, and without this, uh, uh, what what do we call them in, in our villages? These people will not know who is IPOB or who is not IPOB. These people are doing a grassroots job. Point don't wo don't worry, don't worry. About it. You will hear their story because. I said, when we descend on them, people will say, oh, did you not tell you? They are now killing themselves. Now that your uncle, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your whoever is an informant, pointing at people, you will not see them. Any day we cut out that finger that is using to point at people, you will start complaining. We know what we are going to do and the time is... Right. Thank you for... Telling me about this out on the out on this world, out on this world, a fool. We shall descend on him. Don't worry about that. You see what is going to happen okay, to him. Sir. Thank okay, you very, very much. He said, he said, and bless you too. Bless you too. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you are calling from, if you may. Um, I've been trying the line since morning. Since you you opened the line and it's been busy. It shows that. Um, millions of people are calling the whole world is listening they listen to us and the whole yes, world um, also want to speak go ahead please your name and where you are okay my name is um uh, chino so i am actually calling from amor behind so w w what i want to say presently is uh, uh i have actually gone online you know I'm, i've been following things and i see the way things are going right now to be honest with you, um, I see it's not going to be very easy. Um, the, the rate at which um, the Nigerian troops, Nigerian forces are coming into the eastern region, more especially the southeast, this, uh, it's becoming very, very scary. Um, Why should you be scared? Why should you be scared? No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, you, you, you sound learned. Listen to me very carefully. Listen very, very carefully. Yes, sir. You sound very, very learned. Okay. There are millions of ways to stop an advancing army full and just forget their stupid uniform and that boots they are wearing. They yes, are sir. immortal like yourself. And they yes, also sir. bleed. They yes, also sir. bleed as well. It's true. Do you understand me? Yes, they are nothing. Sir. They are yes, nothing. Sir. They are vermin. Absolutely not. They are vermin. They are nothing. And our land will consume them. They are going to die there. Yes, sir. Very, very well. It doesn't matter how many of them that come, they will die there. As I told yes. you a short while ago, why are we always afraid of invaders? We are the land of God. Our land is brimming with everything that man could ever want. So we would always attract invaders. As I told you, we were all hailing Israel two days ago. Despite the, the many invasions they have had, despite how many Israelites we are murdered, despite how many Jews we are slaughtered, he, yes, sir. Two weeks ago, we saw the might of the state of Israel. The same thing will yes, happen sir. to Biafra. It's as simple as that. They will come, okay. but they will yes. die in our land. Thank you very much. That's true. Thank you. Yes. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from. I have a case in the state of Omanaumoya State from Yukuano Ahaba. Iguano Ahaba. You you are from Ahaba in Iguano. You know that the name of Asaba is also Ahaba. Is that correct? Yeah, my dear dear, and I know Ahaba Oloko. Ahaba in Oloko. Thank you for speaking English, please. The world is listening, including Katrina Lang, the British High Commissioner to the Zoo. Go ahead. Okay, I speak in English, my brother. I'm, I'm, I'm a minister, a minister of the ministers, because I'm into theology school. So I went there. I understand what this word is all about. So I'm trying to educate those people on the head. That's why I give myself this title, Minister of the Ministers. Go ahead. Because those common people working on the street, they have no problem. They've been killing us and we've been suffering. I am I'm married with four children and I struggle to suffer, to survive. I have lived in abroad for over 15 years and they bring me back home and they said a white man here to teach me in theology school. And I said to the white man, what are you coming to teach me? You deport me all the way from your country. And I come here, you are trying to give me another doctor and to deport me into the grave. And all the student was against me. But now I try to tell him that here I'm standing is my land and is my Biafra land. And I will defend it with every other thing. 
So they, they, what I'm trying to tell you is that what you are doing is a very good work. Whenever I'm needed, you have my number. You should call me. I will dedicate even my life, my family, to see that Biafra comes. And I have a revelation yesterday. I was in the revelation. We are jubilating and dancing that this Biafra have arrived. Yes. And by God's grace, I pray because I preach the true gospel. Because people don't understand who God is. In the beginning, he said God created the heaven and earth. He was with nobody. Then you move a little further. You will hear when God say, I created everything and I give you power of everything. Why would you go and be searching for power somewhere when you don't know how to collect power from the God Almighty that created you? Every day I cry and weep to pray for Biafra to come. Somebody spending over 15 years in abroad and come back home, there is nowhere to fix itself. <laughs> And I said, okay, I will go to theology school and find out the real foundation of this earth. And I thank God that I begin to find it. When I stand to minister, everybody is mocking at me. Everybody is talking. Say, why am I? I say, I cannot come out and preach what God did not give me. So, daddy, I'm very, very grateful. Your message and everything. I pray that God will strengthen you. And you nothing see. will happen to you. you All see. the time I see you in my dream and in my revelation, they attack you, but you stand. I love the attack. Yeah, come to a time. If I'm not being attacked, I won't be happy. I love the attack. I, if there is no enemy, I create one. If there is no enemy, I create one myself. Exactly. I love fighting. I love it. If there is no Janja weed, I will create another. I will even go to the Nigerian Republic to look for them. I will go to Mali to look for them. I will look for Fran wherever they are and I will make trouble with them. Exactly. That's how it is. Thank you very much. And remain very truthful, loyal, and focused on what you're doing. Um, uh, people were complaining about one idiot in um, in her on this walk. Look at what happened to 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 Dieter Spiff. The arch himself and um, and Edwin Clark. These are hard and hardcore saboteurs. Look at the life the the youths got together in one brass and drove the idiot away and ransacked the whole palace, burnt his um, his um, limousine, his driving limousine. Whereas others cannot have three square meals to eat in a day. Because the zoo, the government, they give him money. He say he's the king. He's answering king. That idiot. Get the speech. They sacked. That's what we should be doing. Stop complaining. Go down on this walk and uh, drag out the idiot. And pour fuel on him and, and set him alight. I throw call. We tolerate too much nonsense and we keep complaining. You know what to do. And you are waiting for me to tell you what to do. No. Do it. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, Marzi. His Excellency Marzi Nandekano. I greet you, Yandu. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, your name and where you're calling from? Uh, from people like um, My name is Chilling, but I'm calling from Hong Kong. From Hong Kong? Please go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, some people are very annoyed that um, our brother from Kenya gave you the title um, His Excellency, and since then we've been, we've, been, we've, been, we've been celebrating with that His Excellency, and some people are very angry and have enjoyed it. <laughs> so, but, so I, I normally I always ask questions about um, what the Afra is going to be and um, the kind of... Um, uh, government we are going to run, but the tension is very high now, so I'm not going to talk about that because um, the enemy is um, the enemy. The enemy is at the gate. The enemy is at the gate. They have come, as I knew. We have to discuss on on strategies. Well, I believe that you have um, read um, 80, uh, 48 laws of power. If you haven't, I recommend it back to back. That is one, but I believe you have. Now, secondly, um, if uh, I don't know how to put this, okay, let me put it this way: When do we need? I was supposed to have a way of sending a very kind message to the leadership of these um, soldiers coming down in the north. When he gets to where to get to, if we don't have something, they will keep coming. But when the message gets home, it will get home soon. Don't worry about. Don't worry about. I don't want us to go into details. Don't worry about that. The message will get home. So they, as I promised them, they will come to land. They're going to die there. So why, why are we bothered? Eh? Blood is going to flow. We know that very well. Your intelligence drives me. Hey, we, it's a very simple ploy. 
as they are now in the battlefield, they will be receiving news how uh, the real bandits have taken over their villages. How can they fight anymore? Their morale will be reduced. And then we'll use their blood to water our land very well. They're going to, all of them will die there. Write it down on a piece of paper. Write it this very morning of the 28th of May. Write it down what I said. You see all these people coming into our land, they're all going to die there. We know what to do. We know what to do. We know how to kill them and they're all going to die. Be rest assured. You're, you're so, sometimes I worry too much, but whenever I talk to you, whenever I listen to you, it seems that you have everything covered. I don't even know what... We I'm know saying. what we are doing. <laughs> there is a method to our madness. We know what we're doing. We are taking... Because we, our people are Republicans. By instinct, by genetic disposition, by that is who they are. So you must take them along every step of the way. What we are doing today... Had we launched ESN, say, three years ago, our people wouldn't support it. No, yeah, we could have said Our people would be... Exactly. So, everything needs to happen in its time. You know, at the appropriate time you do it, our, that is why when our people come out to be, to be hailing men on the streets, because they understand what these people mean for them. They know it very well. And they know that nobody means well for them more than this IPOB. We are the ones who... If not for IPOB, those of them now looking for money from, from Dev Umahi, are they not, if not for IPOB, by now those people would have been answering Mohammed or goodness knows what I'm else. You, we saved there them. Is there, is, there, is, there is something else I want to say, please. Go ahead. Our people should learn. Yes, I know that men on ground, our people love them, our people want to cheer them up, our people want to show them support. But please, when these people are working, when they are doing their duties, stay out of the way. Stop coming out to make pictures or to praise them. Because if they have confrontation with the police or with these people, there's going to be casualties. Bullets will touch people and they will say people are dying. Stay away from them. Whenever they are working, just stay as far away as you can. Stop going close to praise them. Because if they have any confrontation, they are armed men. They have to defend themselves. And people will, have, people will fall because you are standing there and you are not protected. Our people should stay away whenever they see these guys doing their job. I of don't course. know why our people don't listen. They would like to go close and be saying, yes, we know that we are all happy with what they are doing. But you must not put your life in it. Because they will be counting it that oh, our people are dying too. That is true. Why, That's why we are dying out of stupidity. Another thing, oh, you see, there's something else I want to talk about. about um, the, I saw a video of some young men burning down a, a king's house in Bayelsa State. I don't know if you saw that video. Yes, I saw it. Of data speech. Yes, He's not a king, anything. Yes. Well, what is a king? We don't have kings in our land. I don't know. He's I a village head. He what stupid king is he? Is Who the made him king? One of the first, the first, um, um, whatever, governor of... Uh, he is the first saboteur. He's the first sabo. Go on, created River State and appointed him. He's a, he's a saboteur. In those videos, the young men from those communities are speaking Igbo. Yet they say these people are uh, ensured that they are not. <laughs> no, the young men in the video from the community that are burning the, the man's house, they are they speak Igbo language. I don't understand. I was hearing everything that we are saying. Yet they say these people are biased that they are ensured they are this. They are not part of us. I want to let you understand. Listen, I want you to understand understand something with our listeners this morning. Let me tell you something. I think I've said this thing before, live on air. When, do you know that Joseph was killed? No, sold by his brothers. You are aware of that? Who sold Joseph? Exactly. Who sold Joseph? His brothers. Uh, so see some of them as, um, as um, so when they sold the, the, should I say, the, the evil speaking impact, when they sold their own brothers across Imo River, they were doing exactly, exactly what happened to Joseph. And the glory remained with Joseph. And the glory shall remain with our people. And, it's, and it was still Joseph that rescued them. Uh, I, 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 I didn't want to go further. 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 I didn't, I didn't want to go any further. No, 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 no. You connect. This is exactly. You did the very wonderful connection here. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's the way it is. We shouldn't be too distressed. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you. He said he's a king. We stupid king. is a king. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Please, your name and where you are, if you may. 
No, they are no longer there. A lot of too many, way too many calls. They call her on the line. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling us from. Hi, uh, sir. I am highly uh, grateful for my name. Yes, sir. Uh, Pastor Chris was calling from Cambodia. I'm mm. representing Pia from here. Yes. in Cambodia and uh, Biafran Cambodians are doing wonderfully well yes. and uh, we are working hard to uh, kind of uh, coordinate with the, the other of our family in the whole world concerning the support of uh, ESN yes maybe in a short few days right now you will hear from us and at the same time when the due process now is being done we will get to you because uh, Biafrans all in Cambodia here they want to hear from you they really want to hear from you, and everybody is supporting what we are doing. So I'm so much glad for a kind of uh, speaking with you this very hour. And another thing that I want to say right now is that uh, is it normal for people from our place, as it is right now, as in the hot, to call and say that they are coming, they are calling from so and so place? Because all these informations that uh, Nigerian zoo are getting, most of them they get it from the, the callers. Most of them are, are, are kind of being gathered from. Uh, People beside them, um, I'm just suggesting on my own. Open and demand all from if it can be Afra land. In that's what I can do that because no people will still call because uh, if uh, 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 there is there are many funny jukus in Aba. If you say I'm uh, funny I'm calling from Aba. Uh, okay. I don't think that places you in in a very high risk. And please stay on the line. Um, what I want to report is that um, as I said before, they want to attack Alaba International Market in Lagos. With the help of Bola Med Tinubu, they want to attack Alaba International Market and burn it down. They want to attack it. I'm warning now, not tomorrow. Now they say oh, it's ESN. ESN came to Lagos. Tinubu will use all his media contacts, all his Yoruba newspapers to be writing rubbish. I want to warn our people in Lagos to be on the alert, to be very vigilant because they are coming to burn Alaba Electronics. Market very, very important, please. Thank you very much. I have another caller on the line. Can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Hello, yes, please. Your name and where you are. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you are. Your name and where you are. Yeah, I'm calling from Dubai, UAE. From UAE. Okay, and your name, your first yeah. name only. What is your first name? Um, Obijuru, Obijuru, Kenneth Onyekachi. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I, I'm grateful. I thank God to get you online today. Thank you very I much. I pray that our people will be with us. I be already in the ground. Of course, of so course. So I, I wish that now our people can understand that now what our leader is talking. So nothing will stop Biafra. I pray that our God will guide us and protect us and make us to see Biafra. You see? You see? You see? You see? Thank you. Thank you very, very much for that. Thank you very much for that. I have another caller on the other line. This caller, can you hear me, please? Yes. Good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling us from? My name is Mazi Chidebele Mouriak from Omaha. Mouriak, Mouriak, Mouriak. That name is... Oh, look, that's correct. Oh, look, oh, look, of course. Oh, look, oh, when the uh, uh, you couldn't know more, Macadia, I'm a more look, oh, you too. That's my grandma. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, I can notice that uh, many of us many of us don't understand your preaching about divide and good. Many people, because of their age, I know my age. Many people don't know the meaning of divide and rule. That is happening in Iguano Mwanya. When one, they have did something divide and rule. They cannot change the location of government college Mwanya. The location of government college Mwanya now is in Iguano or local government. But they cannot change the location. My people. That is rubbish. It's not in Iguano. Yes, but they cannot change the address. They cannot change the address. Is that in Is in Ibeku? Come and call it Omaha. Is in Ibeku. The river there is the Omaha. That river, 
that main road stream yes, for those of them that went to those of us that went to come and call it my main road stream down the road where avani koku is is the boundary between Ibeku okay. and Omo Alaga. It's as simple as that. Yes, so, uh, Government College Omo Alaga is in the main inside Ibeku. Alvan Ikoku, I don't know what it's called now. It used to be called Alvan in those days. I don't know what they call it now. Maybe it's Abia State University, College of Education, or whatever. Part of it can be found inside Ikuano. Um, uh, Federal University of Agriculture is in Ikuano. The, the, boundary, the boundary itself is the river. After all, uh, Fisher, Fisher Primary School, you know the primary school opposite, Fisher Primary School is in Ibeku land. Okay. They must get it right. Go ahead. So, well, you see, what I'm trying to say, this couple started earlier in divide and rule. Let, us, let, let our people go back to the time of 19 states. How many states make up Biafran land? How many states is, is Biafran land? All these divide and rule have put many people in confusion. Of course. Yes. Of course. I cannot have my states. We know how many states that is in Biafran land or call it the state. Why, why our people are being deceived? They are being deceived because, as I said before, we love to eat our own flesh. As you heard, there is um, a, a village head in Aaron this world uh, that wants to serve the zoo. Uh, we, we, we complain about people from brass. Of course, everybody's here. We have been saying this from day one. They speak Hebrew. Everybody, if you are from a Joland, you are from Arochuku, it's as simple as that. You can debate from now till the kingdom come. That is a fact. You cannot remove it. If you are from Ukure, you are descended from Ukure. It's as simple as that. You can uh, steal your brother's property, steal his wife, and claim abandoned property, and be a product of, um, should I say, a child that benefited from stolen goods. That's entirely your business. But you cannot erase fact you cannot erase history let me make one thing very clear what is the difference between let's say um edwin clark and uh, we or rogers this is something there are people that hate their people some people come out they came to this life to despite to help the enemy to conquer their own people that's what some of these governors are doing all they're doing is trying to help the enemy to conquer their people that's what they're doing and they think they'll be they'll, they'll, they'll go scot-free later on no they because the version of, of of islamic jihad that is coming will not even spare them unless they convert and become their slaves as i keep saying all the time anybody that mouths his or her one nigeria i ask them to please take out time once you go and you study hausa history the history of the hausa people and how today nobody remembers them anymore it's now full and full and everywhere if you finish reading or studying hausa history you come back to me and you still say one nigeria then I will follow you. Go and study house of history. That's something that they do not know. Thank you very much, my dear brother from Moloko. Um, thank you very, very much. And uh, millions of people here. I have 30,000 missed calls. Can you believe that? 30,000 missed calls. Unbelievable. On Signal alone, not even on WhatsApp. That is astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. Thank you, all of you that's called in. I will be back again live. That will be on Monday morning. On Monday morning, I will be live on air. Monday morning, there may be a slightly time of, say, um, 9 a.m. No, I will start from 7. 7 a.m. in the morning, Biafra Land time on Monday. We are going to be live as we ensure that the city... I'll be reporting the city at home. And, of course, we get reporters all over the place phoning in and telling us precisely what is happening on the ground. But this morning, I thank all of you very much for listening. I know that millions more listen after the broadcast. I don't know why. Maybe they're scared that their name will show or you will appear. Um, but a lot of people do listen after the broadcast. I want to make it very clear to some of you who may not know what we stand for. Is that we stand for the liberation of the land of Biafra. They can call us whatever they like. They can call us South South. They can call us Niger Delta. All these meaningless names. At the end of the day, we are from one family. We are one people. Our origin, our root is traceable to one source and we are interconnected. But that doesn't mean we have to live under one monolithic system, no. Every ethnic nationality in Biafra, and even if there are only 500 people, if they want to assert their distinctiveness, will be granted same in Biafra and they will be a separate nation under Biafra. If they want to be independent later on down the line, that's entirely their business because we are going to demonstrate to the world that we are Democrats at heart. That is why to us, Biafra is more than freedom fighting. It is more than a nation. It is more than a country. 
the Biafra we are fighting for is more like a religion itself. And that is why here on Radio Biafra is where we worship and above all we do not bow down before any idol. None whatsoever. Chukwu Kikabiyama in heaven is our God. I thank you all very much for listening. With all the love in my heart from me from here, as always, it is. Good morning. <laughs>